What's happening, y'all? A few months back, a buddy of mine, Chuck, on Lynn Walker's Outdoors um, channel on YouTube, asked me if I'd show how we uh, fry turkey up down here in the south. And uh, this is going to be roadkill edition. <laughs> My buddy Ethan actually run this turkey over this afternoon on his, well, actually this morning on his work truck. They told me where to go get it, so roadkill edition it is. Stay classy. Anyhow, I'm going to show y'all how we fry them up. We're going to do the heart, the liver, the gizzard. I'm going to show y'all how to clean out the gizzard, get it ready to fry, and the breast. And the legs and thighs, generally, we use, we boil them down and uh, use them in rice or um, dumplings, something like that. So we're not going to do the, the thighs and legs, but let's get into it. I'll show y'all how we do it. All right, first thing we got here is the liver out of the turkey. Um, there's really not a whole lot you got to do with this. I always separate it into two pieces like this, and that way of two people want some they can have them if you like chicken livers you'll like turkey livers if you don't like chicken livers then don't eat it same with the turkey heart cut the turkey heart out don't matter if you leave that fat on there it ain't gonna hurt a thing tastes good if you like here locally you can buy uh, chicken livers at the supermarket I mean chicken hearts if you like chicken hearts you'll like uh, turkey hearts ain't nothing wrong with it Let's get into this gizzard right here. The thing about a gizzard, if you've never, if you don't know what gizzards are, it, it's basically a big muscle that does this. And there's grit in there. The turkeys actually eat uh, little pieces of rock and stuff like that. A turkey doesn't have a stomach like us with acid in it. They have a gizzard. And whatever they eat goes in to the gizzard and it gets worked by the gizzard in that grit and it breaks down whatever they want goes through the rest of their digestive tract so the first thing you want to do it doesn't really matter if you start which end you start at but you want to cut into it and you'll feel the grit when you hit it you can feel a, the knife start gritting on it just follow it around follow it around keep coming around the gizzard same thing with chicken gizzards if you like chicken gizzards, you'll like turkey gizzards. If you don't like them, don't fool with them. But see there? See all those little rocks in there? And obviously he's got, he was feeding on some type of green field or something like that. A lot of grass and stuff like that in there. That's all you want to do is open this thing up a little bit. You might have to come on around just a little bit so it'll open up because you won't be able to get this grid out. You want to be careful with it and try not to get it on the actual gizzard let me get the garbage can generally i do this outside but it's dark outside because i had to wait for hannah to get home so i could try to film this because i got three wild youngins that's running like wild banshees in here let me get the garbage can all right here we go with the gizzard open this baby up and let all that stuff fall out and see there's a liner you see this liner right here if you pull that liner, pull that liner right there, it'll turn loose from the actual meat part of the gizzard, which is what you want to keep. And it'll pull all that grit, all that crap, right out of there. Boop! That's all there is to it. I got a little bit on it, because uh, I'm trying to do it and show y'all on camera. But uh, let me rinse this off. We'll get started on on the breast if you've ever cleaned a turkey you've seen this side we got just a little bit of road rash down here a little road rash right here but other than that we got a pretty breast if you shoot your turkey and you get BBs in your breast when you do this next part cutting it up try to get your BBs out of there because somebody won't appreciate when they bite down on it or your pellets whatever you want to call them but basically we're going to take Follow the bone structure of the breast around. And we're going to take this meat off the bone. Got a little bit of damage to the inside I can see right here. A little bit of bleeding. We'll have to wash that out. That's just from uh, truck impact. <laughs> now one half of this breast will feed a family of four like mine once. We could all eat this 
with some decent sides once but I've got to go work about 15 hours straight tomorrow at the police department so we're gonna cook both of them so I'll have leftovers I can take them to work all right we got our breast cleaned up and that's how well it cleaned up with the blood off of it that's good enough to cook with it's all that matters but uh the only thing you want to remember right here is to go against the grain and I'm going to show you the best I can how to tell where the grain is if you look right here you see these lines that's the grain of the meat so you want to lay that at an angle and cut against the grain the best you can on all of it same thing with this big part of this breast I like to cut them in smaller nuggets just because I got kids if you cut them in bigger nuggets you might want to tenderize them a little but these little nuggets they don't they ain't tough at all you can see the grain of this meat running yonder way just like that you want to take lay your meat like that cut across the grain make some little nuggets for the babies they'll like that little flint man gnaw on that be more better all right there we go we got all the meat cut up let's move over here to the pan <coughs> when you cook this the pan has got some other stuff going on the stove but when you cook this you want to put just enough grease in there to float your turkey just so happens that's all uh, all the grease I got let's turn her on high get her hot all right I got me a dish here to flour all my stuff in what I'm gonna do first lay this liver gizzard and heart in there and then I'm gonna reach over here and find me some turkey chunks it's about the same size that way all of it cook up about the same time throw them in there about what I think my pan will hold because I'm fitting to put flour in this thing we're gonna keep the recipe simple some Morton salt regular old iodized salt A little black pepper McCormick's if you don't use McCormick something wrong with you that's about a pan full right there <coughs> throw some flour in there self rising do not use all purpose make sure it's self rising all purpose don't stick to it as good for whatever reason my experience don't make it good of a crust lid on this little puppy look at there pretty little Christmas little Christmas colors I wish I could find Rudolph I'd shoot him and eat him beat him up just right just right just right we're waiting on grease now see them bubbles that's ready just right Gizzard, gizzard, liver, liver, yeah, oh yeah, I see, look at that, I got it on high to get the grease hot, I'm going to turn it back about seven and a half, come off, that way we ain't burning our grease up. Let her simmer. How about it? Alright, look at here. Them about done. Before they get done, we need to get our others ready. So we don't burn our grease when we go between the two. So we're going to take us a big old chunk of turkey. We're going to run it through the egg wash. Now this is if you want to show off somebody and be pretty and have a big old thick crust on your turkey. I just want to eat supper tonight. I love turkey, so I don't really care about having a big crust, but I'm going to show you how to, how to get you one. 
<laughs> Put the lid on top. Rough it up. All right, let's get our other out. All right, here's the difference between egg wash versus no egg wash and the only piece of actual turkey in here is right here because <laughs> that one and that one has been in here <laughs> eating all my dang turkey off the plate so I ain't got a whole lot to compare it to but if you want a big fluffy pretty crust because you want to show off for whoever you're cooking for egg wash it first if you just want to eat turkey like I do just put flour on it and fry it. How about it? Come on. All right, we're fitting to cut out. I think y'all seen all you need to see about frying a turkey. This piece of that gizzard. It's tough, but it's good. I'm fine. You go eat that heart? Head ain't never ate a turkey heart. Let's see if she chickens out. Is it good? Tastes like a chicken heart. Just say, man. Hey, is liver? Look at that. You like chicken liver? You like turkey liver? I'll show y'all what we have for supper. Make you a little jealous. Look here, supper time. Redneck pro tip. Get you some pure honey or some some syrup. Put on that turkey. Beat it. Come on. Yeah. No. Let's see y'all on the next one. Camera. Smile at the camera right now. Now how are you gonna bite this piece of turkey with no front teeth? <laughs> Off to the side. <laughs>